Get it. We got Steph G in the building, man. Yeah, she in outside. Long Island. She pulled up on me, man. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was a little I, drive. It was a little you drive, right? It was deep. <laughs> you, you, you in Suffolk County, man. Yeah. We, we appreciate you um, for pulling up. You got a lot going on. You know, I follow you and I still don't even be knowing where you be at. Like, <laughs> I'll be outside. Uh, you you definitely misses outside for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. So let's talk about it. Um, How's your summer been so far? My summer's been good. I feel like the summer been flying, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel definitely. like summer's gone. Like, it came and it left. But uh, my summer's been good. You know, I've been doing my hostings. I've been working. I had dropped just one taste. I'm dropping again. Um, yeah, I just been outside working. You stay consistent. That's the, mm -hmm. I, fu I fuck with that, man. You definitely. Thank you. you. Every time, like I said, I follow you on the gram, I, I look up, I'm like, damn, where's Steph at now? Like, <laughs> you was in Miami going crazy. Yeah, I was shooting two videos out there. Two videos. Yeah. I was out there for work. I feel like see, every that, time see, I go... See, we got to make some noise for that because you partying and bullshitting, but you ain't really bullshitting. Exactly. You, you like, if you're on my gram, you're going to think I'm partying, mm -hmm. but I'm really working. Like, I always try to find a way to blend both. Yeah. And I, I see you be venting, too, sometimes. You be yeah. like, when you're in the car or whatever, you be like, yo, listen, yeah. let me just set the record straight. I'm, you yeah. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like it's important to talk to the people. Yeah. Because, you know, perspective mm -hmm. can... You just, just, you just be letting them know what Yeah, it is. people just think like you outside just partying and drinking and wilding out. No, like it's I'm working. Mm -hmm. I saw you um who was that in the uh in the city at that 50 event. You yeah. Perform, turned it up. You already know I had to go crazy. You know um what I'm Yeah, it was it was definitely a good opportunity for me. Um I felt like a lot of people that didn't ever see me perform mm -hmm. that day, saw me perform. Yeah. So it was it was good shit. The first time I saw you really perform, you know what I mean? I was kind of like, you know, I ain't really know what to expect, but you know, I know, I know you, you know, I know, I know, yeah, you, yeah, I know yeah. you get busy and all that. But I was like, you had dancers and all that. You brought it. Yeah. I'm like, you get you get real like um, you know, you you get busy on that stage. Yeah, I like to. I feel you like, like to I like to give a show. Like I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. Like this certain I think it depends on the event too. Like there's certain events where I'll just pop out and I just yeah. perform. But if I feel like it's one of those performances where it's gonna be a lot of people mm -hmm. and a lot of eyes on me, I like to put on a show. Cause yeah. I feel like, you know, first impression is everything. How'd you um like build that confidence like to hit the stage? Because you know, New York is a tough crowd. New York is the toughest <laughs> New York is crowd. Tough. They'll sit there and be looking like Yo, you'll be given a performance of the lifetime, but if you if they don't know you, if you don't yeah. have that type of clout, like that like super big clout, they they're not gonna try to give yeah, you that. Everybody in New York got clout. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> a celebrity in New York. We all celebrities, which I understand. That's why I don't even feel away no more. Right. I like even if I perform and I see that people not really engaging engaging, I don't care. Like yeah, you, you still, saw me, you, yeah, you're gonna remember you, you me. Still put, you still and you're probably still gonna type in step too, G. Because <laughs> then when, once you get off, you you get the people that be like they stop you. They stop you and be like, yo, you did your thing. Yo, yeah, you your thing. exactly. So you know, at first I kind of used to feel away. Kind of like, damn, like what do y'all want? Yeah. Like, you know, but now I'm, I understand New York. We, yeah, we, we all yeah. celebrities, so it, I it got it. It is what it is. Yeah. What, what, what's been like your um your your best performance or your your favorite spot where you perform where the energy was crazy? You got like the most love? I'm going to say Connecticut. Oh, yeah, CT. Yeah, I I, the, CT I always go love. back to that one show because it was crazy. Um, I think I was opening up for Young M.A. Oh, okay. And... Yeah, that crowd was crazy. Like I wasn't even at like at the space that I'm in now. Like I feel mm -hmm. like like now New York kind of knows me more. Right, right. This was like the beginning stage. I mm -hmm. went there and they made me feel like I was already an A-list yeah. celebrity. And shout out to Young and May. Yes, um, she she be bringing them out. I ain't gonna lie. Yes, she has she be, fans. She be bringing out them baddies. <laughs> mm -hmm. shit. It was majority world girls. That's what I'm saying. I've been to a few of her shows. Yeah. You know? Um. So you're from Brooklyn. Yep, Brownsville. How, how was it like growing up in, in, in Brooklyn? Um, it was cool. It was, you know, very raw. It like it is what it is. Like, you know, I it was no sugar coating while I lived that. It was like, mm -hmm. you know, it was what it was. Mm -hmm. Um I was surrounded by a lot of music, I was surrounded by a lot of different cultures, food. So I'm I'm happy I was raised in, in Brooklyn. It also gave me a lot of heart. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I don't really take bullshit from anybody. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah. What well, what's your sign? Libra. What's your sign? I'm a Sag. You, I kind of felt like you was a Sag. That's big, crazy. Big Sag energy. Yeah. I shout fuck with Sag. Shout out to Libras. <laughs> my, my sister's a Libra. Yeah. Uh, the sister, Lee. So, um, 
Yeah, so like, what's I, I know you just dropped one taste. Mm -hmm. What's the vibe like uh, when you get in the studio to create these records? Because, you know, um, a lot of people they might hear your songs and stuff like that. But like, when I listen to when I listen to your songs, like even right now on the way to the studio, mm -hmm. I'm listening to the songs and it's like the production is tight. You know what I mean? Like I could tell, like whoever you're in the studio with. They know what they're doing. Really professional. No, yeah. Structuring the song. It's not just like, you know, let's just put this out, you know. No. I can tell um, you like a perfectionist. Yes. I was just going to say that. I'm a perfectionist. And the people around me, they're not playing. Mm -hmm. Like, they're not going to let me put out no bullshit. Like, they're going to make sure it sounds like a record. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes, you know, us as artists, we have our own, like, preference. Like, oh, I like this song. I'm going to put it out. They don't let me do that. Mm -hmm. Like with me, it's like, all right, if we if that's the song that you want to go with, let's make sure that it sounds like a record. It sounds good to go on the radio. It's going to sound here. It's good there. It's going to mm -hmm. sound, you know, it's, yeah. it's a lot of work that goes into mm -hmm. us. I feel like sometimes we're a little too structured because I'm like not like everything got to be perfect, but I'm grateful. Like I have a production team. Like I don't, I don't, I ain't gonna lie, like I don't work with too many producers. Right, right. But I have like three producers that I really work with and we really locked in. Like they even if it's somebody else be, I have shout out to Classic, like he'll be in mm -hmm. there and he'll be like, No, like let's put this here, let's add this here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like even just with ad libs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, no, ad libs are important. Yeah, so it's like they they really do help mm -hmm. me a lot. So um the process, yeah, we just really locked in. Like, do you like uh, when you when you recording? Do you like a lot of people to be there, like a party vibe, or okay, do you kind of so like to just? Be, be it depends by on the song. Like feeling myself uh -huh. was one of those songs where everybody was in there. We was lit. It was a vibe. Mm -hmm. So if I'm doing like turn up songs, I I don't mind people being in the studio. Right, right. Now if I'm doing something that's a little bit more personal, a little bit more that takes a little bit more, a little more like deep. like melodizing. And stuff like that mm -hmm. Like now I'm getting more Like in my singing bag and my melodizing bag That I feel like I, le I need a little bit more focus So if you're gonna be In the studio You need to engage mm -hmm. Like Steph That sounds good yeah. That doesn't sound good But if you're gonna be you there gotta, Just to bullshit You gotta let me know The next time you have Nah a I'm gonna you To the studio I'm yeah. definitely um, I'm big on that too Like if I'm If I'm in the studio And I'm working With artists or whatever Like you know, I always give my input whether you yes, want it or I not. Yes, I love that. I'm like, yeah, you know. And I don't like yes people around me. Nah, yeah, no yes men. Yeah, no yes I want you to we tell me that, that sounds here. bad. Stuff, do it again or change change that line. Something. I don't want people there just telling me. What you got you? Good. What got you into like the music and like um, you know, when was like the first time you got in the booth and actually was like. You know, getting into it. Like, oh, I like this. I I, 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 I tell the same story like, what, what in every put, interview. Like, what put the battery in your back. Um. I'm not going to go into like full detail, but it really started with my brother. He playing around was like, yo, jump on this verse because he started music first. So he was like, oh, do a verse. So I said, fuck it. I, I wrote a verse. We went in the studio and then I had, had wrote my own song. Mm -hmm. I still remember that, right? I was writing. I just put a random beat from Apple and then I just started writing. And I was like, this is actually sound hard. So when I went in the studio, I ain't going to lie, I sucked a little bit, but people just heard like, even just from the ad libs, the structure, the potential. Everybody was like, nah, like we should like actually make this something. And that's so, where it started. They saw the potential and then we just stayed locked in. What was um like what was the first song or video you dropped where like you was even shocked at like the response and like, you know, your mm. first viral moment, you know? Okay. Um the first one that I ever put out was running, running, right? It was running. That one did okay. That one, it was okay. But once I dropped, it was um, No Emotions. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's when the streets started to really like, Start oh, shoot. who is she? Who is she? But Chopped Cheese, Chopped Cheese was the one that was really like viral what, for me. What's up? Yeah. Um, what, what's your favorite uh, spot to get uh, Chopped Cheese? Brooklyn? Nah, it's, it's definitely up to Actually, where I did the shot the music video... That was one of the best chopped cheese I had. But there's also a spot in Queens. Mm. It's called Maddie's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you know what I'm talking Yeah, see? They, they got some banging ass chopped cheese in there. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I need a chopped cheese. Yeah. Let's get it. Did you pull up on, uh, what, what's my guy name, um, that be doing all the crazy um, uh, sandwiches and stuff? And, and um, what's his name, uh, Mike, Marky? I forgot. Ra? What's his name? You know mm. the guy on the gram. I I'm, think I know who you're talking about. I haven't gone there yet. I gotta pull up on him. You gotta pull up on yeah. him. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So we got Steph G in the building, man. Yeah, we outside. How you feel? I feel great. 
I feel like I've not like to say like you're one hit away, but like I could tell it's it's, it's happening. Yeah, I know what you like, mean. It's about to like I could feel it. I could feel it. That, I ain't gonna lie. That's what me and like my manager was talking about. Like it's like yo, like I know I'm doing good because everybody from the outside looking mm. in, everybody's like yo, you going crazy, you going crazy. But for me, it's more like all right, but like I'm ready. Like mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm, what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just waiting on my moment. Yeah, nah, definitely. Um, yeah. So how was um. Uh, the how was the energy when you was uh, performing uh, at Coney Island? Cause I know that shit was lit over there. It's, it goes back to like what we was talking about. Mm-hmm. Like um, just the New it York wasn't like vibe. oh my god, it was just a New York vibe. They was watching. Yeah. But when I got out, and you know niggas be niggas be smoking a lot too. Like, yeah, that's, the other thing. that's another hot, thing too. So they might be into it, but they just they're stuck. They on that za. Yeah. So I, when it comes to New York, I, I give New York a pass. <laughs> I get, I gotta give them a pass now. When I'm going out of state, I expect a little bit more energy because mm-hmm. you know they don't really know me. They're, I don't feel like people are as stuck up as New York. You gotta get the Step G tour popping. Yeah, now nah, I'm. Move around. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna start small. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not gonna do nothing too big, but we planning some stuff. I gotta ask you about um, how you feel about the Trump. Uh, situation was it staged? When he got shot, <laughs> was it staged or no? Nah? Um, I ain't gonna lie. When I first seen it off the back, I was like, "This is staged." I was like, "This is staged." Like, I don't, b- but that's me. I don't believe nothing. <laughs> like, it's very hard to make me believe. Like, especially like being in the industry yeah. and seeing how things work, seeing all the behind the scenes, right? Seeing the behind the stuff. scenes, I feel like everything is staged. But then I saw somebody died. Yeah, that's when I was like, okay, maybe. This could be real. I still have trust issues, yeah, but it made like me like on the fence. Yeah, like it's like yeah. it could have been. I've seen, seen a few different videos, you know, different angles. How you felt about it? And then um, I never really agree with that lady Candace Owens. And then I looked at her video that she did last night, and she made a lot of sense because she was basically saying like before the president even goes to speak anywhere, like Secret Service and all them, they they get there days before they they. Scope they out scope the, the scenery they you know they make sure like if something can happen where it can happen from and they just make sure like it's secure yeah like, so for that for that to happen it's kind of like how did how did it happen how like, and then they said something about how a police officer seen him and then he points it yeah, and then, yeah all of that all of that yeah. that's what i'm saying it's it's tricky it's tricky man we yeah. you know um but we got trump and we got biden so you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not even going to get into that, but <laughs> no, we're doomed. <laughs> yeah, man. 50 Cent is winning, though. Because yeah. they put many men to every Trump video. Many men. I'm going to say something, something about 50. He's going to trend one yo, way or I'm the not, other. I, I said that, too, man. I was like, you know what? I, I got to give it to 50, man. He just always wins. Yeah. Like, And if you are enemy of his... Like how gonna make he, you how did it. he just go to Canada after Rick Ross went to Canada? <laughs> like wait, he did? Yeah, Ross Ross had. I, I saw the Ross. And I didn't then, see like, the fifty. Two days after that, fifty, you know, fifty don't fuck with Ross. So fifty was um, he went he had a performance in Canada, <laughs> and he was like, "Why y'all do that to Ross?" And I'm just like, <laughs> "Yeah, he's I, crazy." Yeah. Shout out to Fifty Cent, man. Yeah. Um, so out of um. You know all the music that sounds stuff like you know i see you i see you uh rocking with um chef g mm-hmm. how's that like are y'all gonna um we've been we've been talking about collabing or whatever i think that'll be fire though i think it will be fire um a lot of people been asking me like yo yeah, we gotta I make mean, that happen yeah yeah i gotta i gotta keep tapping in with him um we spoke about it when he first came out mm-hmm. um i actually have something for him i don't know it's not really his lane but i feel like he would sound really mm-hmm. good on it Probably for my EP, so we'll see. Everything I think it's gonna lit. happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, when's the EP coming out? I want to drop it before this year end. You got the title? No, cause my first um, mixtape it was called Like a G. Like a G. I don't know if I want to do Like a G Part like a Two. G part Two. Or if I or, or if I'm in a different space and want to call mm-hmm. it something else, cause I'm also um, getting into like more like toned down vibes mm-hmm. that I noticed has been getting a lot of good responses. So I don't know if I want to do something in that lane or if I want to mix it up. If I mix it up, it'll be like a G part. It's a lot of politics. It's a lot of politics. Especially, I feel like that's the only thing that turns me off. Especially for females. It's yes. Not, it's different for females. I already know. Mm-hmm. I already know. So how, how do you how do you um navigate through all the politics? 
honestly i the way i look at it is like i'm just gonna keep working like it is what it is i can't control the politics in the in the in the game yeah you know what i mean like there's just certain people that's gonna get access to certain things that i feel like i deserve mm -hmm. but it's nothing i could do about it i just gotta wait my turn would you um you you see those videos where um they have those balloons the balloons be popping oh my god <laughs> i was literally just oh, on instagram the other day and i'm like yo why do people go on these shows <laughs> like would, would, I'm you, not would do you do that. would you do would you do one of those nah <laughs> number one like being the one that pops a balloon i'm not <laughs> i don't want to sit here and judge you like i don't want to do a lot like you know what i'm saying and then i'm definitely going to be the one that y'all gotta pop the balloon on me because i am not going to take that the right way w will you do any like reality you know like the baddies club I, no all that stuff? no offense but i would not do the baddies club i feel like it just doesn't fit the type of person i am i'm more of a fun i don't like to fight your love I, yeah like I, if i have to fight i will fight but <laughs> right. that's not what i like enjoy to do mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like i'm more about you're not, good you're vibes. not popping out to do that you're popping out to i'm popping good out time. to have a good time but if a bitch right so i've been offered a couple of reality shows honestly uh -huh. but um i just feel like right now i'm so locked into my music that i feel like if i was to mm. go and do reality tv show it it'll take away from my music and right now music is my number one priority so i have so much people be like steph you should be on this you should be on that but yeah yeah because you got the you got the personality yeah they always say that they be like you got the best personality why are you not in tv yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm like maybe i'll do some movies maybe start like i'm actually gonna be in a movie it's, okay. it's a short film it's nothing like really major but it's definitely gonna be a start for me because that i will do that's what's up that's yeah what's up step g out here working y'all <laughs> so if um for anybody i want to tap in for the hosting for the parties what do they how do they do um people be hitting me they like yo i'm like man how much you got because i ain't gonna bother step g you see yeah her, you, you see her chain you see her <laughs> bags man like this girl's expensive man you know yeah I mean? you, gotta, you know i try to work with people um i try to be fair what I don't respect is like when people try to just come, like I always say, go through my management. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't understand that. Yeah. And I do that purposely because I don't like to be involved with the business. Like sometimes mm -hmm. I might have somebody that's close to me mm -hmm. and they're asking me for something, but at the end of the day, it's still a business. If I tell them, oh, it's it's this amount amount of money, then now they're feeling away versus yeah. if I send them to my management, mm -hmm. now you can't feel no way because you know, this is yeah. just part of mm -hmm. my business. Exactly. So if you do want to get tapped in with me, just hit up Smooth Sounds. Um, the I have the link in my bio. I have their email, all that. So just go through them um, and they talk business. That business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Steph G. I feel like that's a big problem though. Some people don't respect business. Nah, they don't. It's all good though. You know what I mean? They got to pay like they weigh at the end of the day. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You heard? But yeah, man. Um, I'm just proud of you, man. Thank For real. you. I see Thank like, you. I see ain't no stopping mm -hmm. the Steph G movement. You know what I'm saying? No. I feel like it's really strong. I mean, I seen you you know, I seen you out doing your thing, and you know, it's it's a good look, man. And um, thank you, I appreciate that. I definitely, see, you know, like you're like the the next one to pop, to really pop off in the city. You my got God, the energy. You. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you know, I don't like to hear that too much because I've been hearing that for so long. But now it's like like when people say now mm -hmm. I take a different because now I work. feel like you, it. You, you put in right, the work. Right, I put in my put work in now. Work. Exactly. So now I feel like yes, like it's just a matter of time. That's just how I say it. Like it could happen tomorrow. It could happen in a week, but it's gonna happen. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah. And you're gonna do the on the spot freestyle. Yeah. Came out we here to Long Island. Mm -hmm. I might give you an exclusive. Ooh, let's get it. Yeah. Let's get it. <laughs> how was the uh, pool party vibe out here with uh, DJ Will in the union? It was cool. It was mad fun. Um, shout out to the Union DJ, Superstar J, DJ Will, everybody that's out there. Breezy Line was there. Yeah, I'll be hyped when there, I hear them playing Fresh Steph G on the radio yeah. too. Because like I said, is you know like the music, like the music actually it sounds good. It's not like you know what I'm saying. Like you know some people like it's like kind of forced. It's like you really that's got what I you, want though. You really got good records though. You Thank know you. What that's I mean? what. Not because it's me, but that's what I always say. Like that's how I know that I'm gonna be good in the industry because a lot of people have viral moments off of maybe something that's mm -hmm. trending right now. Yeah. But then it's like, do you have good music to follow up? That's why mm -hmm. I try to give good music so people quality can understand music. I'm here for quality music. I'm here to stay, mm -hmm. not just for a viral moment. How you feel about the Drake and Kendrick? Um. Well, I love Drake. Mm -hmm. So you know. I, it's obvious that more people gravitated towards Kendrick, so I got to give him his props for that. Yeah. But I still feel like Drake went crazy on Family Matters. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. He went dumb. Yeah, nah, facts. I feel like it wasn't respected enough. Yeah, you know, um, 
it's just that that not like us that shit not like you know it was like I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be in the club, I hear it like it makes you yeah. wanna vibe. Yeah. So I get it. Mm-hmm. He pulled a Drake on Drake. Right. Absolutely. Yup. <laughs> it's crazy. No doubt, man. So, uh, you want to say anything to your followers, your supporters? Any yes. shout outs? Um, uh, shout out to Smooth Sound. Shout out to my whole team. Shout out to you. Thank you for having me. Come shout out to my right. PR Lamara. You know, she be going Keep crazy working. for me. Yes, she goes crazy. Um, and shout out to my fans because. It be days that I be wanting to give up, like give up, and they just randomly post me every day, every day. I be like, yeah. y'all really support mm-hmm. me. So shout out to y'all. A lot of new music on the way. I'm dropping another one before the summer ends, and the EP's coming out. So we outside like a G. Like a G. <laughs> Make some noise, y'all. Steph G. Oh, I gotta ask you before we before we leave. I just wanted to know, like, what's Steph G's top five females? Like, what's mm-hmm. your top five females? Female, female rappers. Um, of all time. Of all time. Um, Aaliyah. I'ma say Missy Elliott because of her creativity. Of course, Nikki. I love Cardi. And last one. Mm, it's hard because I, I I fuck with all the females. Mm-hmm. Um, like when 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 you know growing up in Brooklyn, like, like yeah, you was like a. a Big Lil' Kim fan? Yes, I love Lil' Kim too. I can't leave her. Mm-hmm. I love Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim. It's just so many. Um, Queen yeah, Latifah. No, females are doing their thing right now. Yeah. Females are going crazy. I feel like the guys don't stand a chance right now. Sheesh. They don't stand a chance. We got this. Ah. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> All right, let's get it, man. Appreciate you, Steph G. Thank you for having me. Coming through, man. You already know people to stop with biz. Let's get it. We outside. We outside. Let's get it.